Hi, I'm Eric Friedman. I'm the Executive Director of the Mad River Valley Chamber of Commerce, and we're here for our next episode of Tailgate Talks, and we're here with Ryan Ward, the Retail Manager of the Mad River Taste Place. Welcome to the Tailgate, my friends. Thank you so much, Eric. Excited to be here. Are you excited or you're a little nervous? A little bit of both. Yeah, well, you should be. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out, we're out in front of the Taste Place here. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about like, what the Taste Place is all about? Yeah. The Taste Place is a specialty retail store mm -hmm. that has a fantastic selection of beer, wines, cheeses, as well as the home of the Mad River Distillers. Uh, really? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So are, 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 are we going to bust into this now? Uh, you know, it might be a little early for me today, but uh, I well, appreciate it. Well, and Mimi, Mimi probably wouldn't want us to like, yeah. do that right now, but well, yeah. we'll leave it here. Well, we'll we leave it for later. And get a little tasting after. For sure. Yeah. So tell us a little about the history of the Taste Place. How did this place get yeah. started? and? Yeah, so the Taste Place opened up about seven years ago. Uh, originally, it was more of a tasting room for wines, cheeses, flights, and uh, cheese boards, that sort of mm -hmm. stuff. But post-COVID, we've sort of transitioned more to a specialty retail establishment, mm -hmm. uh, focusing on having just a great, well-curated selection of predominantly Vermont products, and as well as really focusing on carrying products from the Mad River Valley area as well. And a couple of other out-of-state stuff that's worthy of it, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah, well-curated is, is our goal. So uh, as far as I've, I've ever seen, because I'm like a big cheese guy myself, yeah. obviously. <laughs> um, so I have never seen a place with more variety of Vermont cheeses. Is that, is that true? I would say so. We carry about 80 to 85 percent Vermont cheeses, mm -hmm. uh, with the remainder just being for, for things that we feel are, are really special. But we do try to carry uh, as well stocked a cheese selection as we can, especially in the Vermont cheese scene. Yeah, I mean, you have like tons and tons of different brands of Vermont cheeses, right? Yeah, absolutely. We've got some of the best uh, best brands around. We've got Paulette from uh, from Woodland Creamery. Mm -hmm. We've that's got, uh, that's great. We've got a great selection of Jasper Hill, including their new Withersbrook Blue that we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got Shelburne Farms and their fantastic Cheddars, uh, one of my personal favorites as well. But yeah, just a, a great selection of as many different Vermont cheeses as we can get in our case. You know, one of the things that I always hear about, you know, I, I send a lot of people here from the Welcome Center or they come in like, oh, where should we do? I'm like, well, you got to go to the taste place. And they're like, and I talk about the cheese, right? And one of the things I always talk about is like, you got to move beyond the cheddars a little bit, right? Yeah, you know, I think cheddar definitely has a, a special place in... Uh in uh, in Vermont's cheese world, but we've got an incredible selection of blues um, as well as softer cheeses. One of my personal favorites, the Mount Alice from Von Trapp mm -hmm. Cheesemakers, right up the road. Uh, they do an awesome Camembert style cheese that's yeah. really, really exquisite. I'm a huge Oma fan. Oh, Oma's incredible. Uh, hopefully, uh, should be back soon. I, I just heard end of the month it'll be back in our shelf. So, uh, and they just took that back as well. So it's all in house now uh, for this next batch. So the Mad River Valley has always been kind of famous for I think we were farm to table before it was a thing right yeah absolutely I think the the farm and community in the Mad River Valley is just incredible and the produce and products that they produce mm. are spectacular so what are the other some of the other local Mad River Valley brands that you that you sell here at yeah. the taste place yeah, obviously. So we carry the the Mad River Distilleries products. We're also Which is carry good stuff. it's great stuff. Uh, for um, beer, we have Lawson's. Uh, we also have our in-house butchers, Fifth Quarters, and we carry a great selection of their products as well. We also carry stuff from uh, products from Bad Bet's Table. Uh, they produce just mm -hmm. literally a stone's throw from here and have fantastic salamis and charcuteries that we're able to carry. And you know, I think there's so many other smaller producers as well. Wink Designs. We carry a great selection yeah. of smaller uh, yeah, products. Housewares for them. Little tea towels yeah, and things like that. Yeah, exactly. That are really fun. Uh, so we've just got a great selection of all sorts of different stuff. And Tin Hat Cider is another one, right? Yeah, That's yeah. good stuff. Yeah, yeah. As well as uh, Tin Hat's fantastic. The the fact that he forges for all his apples is so cool. And Plowgate Creamery is another one that I think is really fantastic stuff. They're, yeah, they're, we were we were just talking about that with one of you with, with one of your uh, uh, customers in there, and they they were from I think they're from South Carolina. Yeah. And I was telling them like, oh, you got to try this stuff. And I'm like, the only problem is, but you're never gonna want to eat other butter ever again, right? No, no. Yeah, and especially on a a good baguette from Green Rabbit, and you're you're in heaven there. Which you happen to be able to get here as well. Exactly. God, yeah. what don't you sell? No Wonder Bread, that's for sure. Yeah, no, no, nothing like that. But, you know, we, we try to really just have a great selection of, of everything that you need for the, the smaller stuff uh, for your, your meal plan. You should throw some Velveeta in there just to 
freak somebody <laughs> out, right? <laughs> They'd probably lose their minds. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh my God, what the heck's going on with this? Absolutely, yeah. People wouldn't know what to do. And I think one of the other interesting things about the, the Taste Place is it was a bank. And like, so tell me about like how you guys are using the vault and the yeah. offices. Yeah, so you know, uh, the vault's been converted over. It's now our walk-in cooler. So we still have the door. It's locked open, so nobody gets shut in there permanently. But uh, it's it still carries a really great sense of of sort of what it was and what it's going to be. And yeah, uh, the the all a lot of our smaller rooms were once offices. And uh, yeah, it's just been great, really cool space as well. And so you you're you're fellow tenant in there is uh, Josh from Fifth Quarter Butcher. Yeah. I'm going to get him on the tailgate again real soon. I want to do a separate thing because we got so much to talk about with him. So what's the relationship with Fifth Quarter and the Taste Place? Yeah, so Fifth Quarter is our, our in-house butcher. They're, uh, you know, technically their own established business, but we house them uh, and we carry their products as well. We all use one POS system so that uh, the transactions go through seamlessly. It's really a great partnership and we've been able to grow with them uh, and they've been able to grow with us. We I think their products are incredible. Selection of steaks and sausages are just out of this world, and I definitely recommend anyone give their. their yeah, steak. I will. I also will recommend them highly. Yeah. Some of that stuff is just unbelievable. The sausages, and what's cool is like when you go to. Um, I think people might not necessarily know this that when when you when pe local people come and visit and stay on our bed and breakfast and things like that, that. You know they're getting sausage from Josh uh, in the morning and uh, you know and at night and you know in their dinners and restaurants and and you guys work with a lot of the other businesses in town, don't you? Yeah, Josh absolutely caters to a lot of the uh, the businesses and the the bed and breakfasts in the area. You'll see his products all over, uh, and they're just fantastic. We also carry a great selection of his pâtés and uh, charcuterie, like his hamon blanc, in our cheese case as well for for all your cheese boards needs. And you guys uh, do some uh, events and things too, right? You'll do, uh, yeah. you know, classes, and you, I know you like partnered with eighteen twenty four house in the yeah, past. Yeah. Can you expand on that a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. We do different events throughout the the course of the year, including our regularly occurring tasting series, which we have in house. Uh, some of our fantastic producers show up on Saturdays to do tastings. We do some smaller specialty events, as well as offering uh, large board caterings and uh, whole grazing table caterings as well. So. If you want to pick up a board instead of build it yourself, we're happy to uh, to work with you and getting that uh, for your table. Yeah, I tell you, one of the really cool things about coming in here is, and I've always noticed, cause I've been coming here since you opened, because I just love coming in, but it's how knowledgeable everybody is. And like Jordan and, and all the other folks that are in there, like they know their stuff. Yeah, we really do. We try to know, have a great staff and a really knowledgeable staff selection. Uh, you know, it's it's also really nice to learn about cheese when you get to try it and eat it and engage in it and really be be in about it. So yeah, it's our staff's super knowledgeable, um, top to bottom. I, I personally have more of a, a wine and beer based background, which is where my knowledge base is. It's really kind of mm -hmm. coming into its own and, and we love it. It's been great. So you're relatively new here, right? And so Ryan, how did you end up with this gig. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I mean, honestly, I saw it on Instagram and uh, that they were hiring for the position. The previous manager had been here for many years and is a staple in the community. Uh, and she was moving on to a, to a fantastic position. So uh, I saw the opportunity and uh, I uh, interviewed and was brought on board and I've been absolutely thrilled. We're going on about six months now and it's just been a fantastic, uh, fantastic role. I really, really love it. So tell me a little bit about your your background. You mentioned you were in the in the more in the beverage industry. What have you what have, what have you done in the past? Yeah. So I've worked uh, a few different locations. I've worked in retail, managing a uh, beer and wine selection for a, a larger grocery store. I've also done sales for beer and wine and worked with the Department of Liquor as well. Um, and here I, in Vermont. Here in Vermont. Yeah. And I've got uh, my. Uh, Wine and Spirits Educational Trust certification, so super knowledgeable about any wine questions that come up. Uh, and we've got an incredible selection of beer and wine. Our beer cooler actually is a... Which is super cool. I love that with the, with, the, with the fancy door. Yeah, yeah. It's a really cool experience. Definitely think people should come and check it out. Uh, I think we've got one of, if not the best, beer selections in the Valley. Really pride ourselves on that. And, uh, you know, our wine selection's really well curated and, and growing every bit. So, yeah, it's it's been great. So being here in the Mad River Green's got to be pretty interesting, huh? Yeah. Got some good neighbors here. Oh, I love our neighbors. We've got some great ones. Three Mountain Cafe is fantastic. I stop by there all the time for, mm -hmm. for my morning coffee. Uh, just a product think tank across the street. Uh, 
Stephanie Grace ceramics, just uh, really, really wonderful she makes stuff. Beautiful stuff, isn't incredible she? Incredible stuff. Really, really gorgeous. Uh, and yeah, it's a great spot to you can come, get a little snack of cheese, uh, try some some spirits, and then sort of wander around and peruse the other stores. Yeah, get your little kid on, go to the Inklings, yeah. and uh, it was just crazy. I mean, when they opened up that little bookstore, I'm like, yeah, they're crazy. And then your place is packed, it's right? Awesome. It's so cool. And and it, when you're in there, it feels like every little spot's a, a little hidden gem. So yeah, yeah really fun. Same and same with uh, with the collection over. Over there it's 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 it what's really cool about the about the valley generally and i think and this is i think the uh you know kind of the epitome of it here in mad over green is that there's all these little shops that you're not going to find anywhere else right yeah absolutely i think it's a, it's a real testament to the people that sort of live and work in the valley that they're so excited about it and really trying to create something that's unique and different in each of their spots and and it, it creates a i think we might be losing a the the the, the um the, to the tailgate might be uh, coming apart at the seams here, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, hopefully it doesn't fall at right. us, but we'll be all right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So is there anything else that you want to talk about, about the, about the Taste Place or your experience here that yeah, people I, might not know? You know, uh, I'm not from the Valley originally. Uh, I My wife and I live just outside of Montpelier, uh, but I've been coming here for a few years now, and when I saw the opportunity, it's just been been wonderful. My experience with everyone here has just been incredible. The people uh, uh, of the the valley are just really some of the most wonderful, down to earth people you'll ever meet, and just it's been a, a truly great experience. Uh, definitely stop on by if you're you're visiting. Check out the yeah. taste place. Grab some cheese. So and so we're gonna just dip into this pretty soon when we get back inside yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and do you guys do ta you guys do tastings with Medford? Yeah, yeah. Right? We're we're their tasting room. We're happy to to sample any of their products. So mm -hmm. uh, great great way to get a little cheese, little uh, little spirits as well. They've got an incredible selection of different bourbons, different rums that are, are just really world class, made right here in the the valley. Yeah, that's, it's amazing. Well, we really appreciate what you do here, Ryan. Thanks so much for joining us on the tailgate. We'll have to get you back in again real soon, and uh, we'll catch up with you. Yeah, love that. Thanks so much, Eric. Really appreciate it. Yep, take care. Good you to too. see you. You too.